when you focus on the breath, stay right here. The mind may want to be wandering off someplace, but you keep bringing it back. Because you realize that just because you want to do something or don't want to do something is not the measure for whether it should or shouldn't be done. The original intention to sit down here and meditate is to train the heart and the mind. And training requires that you get it to do things that it hasn't done before, it may not like doing, but will give good results. And also to stop doing some things that it does like to do, like wandering around as it likes, because those things give bad results. This is a basic lesson in discernment. As the Buddha said, there are things you like to do that give good results. Those are no-brainers. Things you don't like to do give bad results. Those are no-brainers. It's the things that you don't like to do but will give good results, your ability to talk yourself into doing them. That's a sign of discernment. And the same with things that you like to do but will give bad results, you can talk yourself out of wanting to do them. That too is your discernment. Discernment is very basic like this. We all think about the Buddha teaching the Dharma, but he himself said he taught Dharma and Vinaya. The word Vinaya is discipline. And this is the lesson in discipline. It's a very basic lesson in discernment. In terms of the rules for the monks, there's some things that the Buddha says you can't do, no matter how much you may want to do them. And so if you're wise, you talk yourself into not wanting to do them. Other things that you should do, you may not want to do them, but you talk yourself into wanting to. That's where discernment begins. We all think that discernment or insight has to do with seeing things in terms of the three characteristics, or in terms of emptiness. But you don't really understand those concepts unless you've got the basics down. So the basics are right here. You're with the breath, and there comes a thought that says, let's go someplace else. You learn how to say no. You learn how to say no effectively. And you're on the side of the no. And you turn into, yes, I'm going to stay with the breath. Learn the skill of getting the mind to stay in one place, with one object, with a sense of ease, with a sense of well-being. That's a skill that takes discipline. But it's a discipline that pays off. The Buddha doesn't teach discipline simply for the sake of discipline. He's teaching you good qualities of the mind, and teaching you to be more and more discerning about what you're doing and the consequences of what you're doing. Because after all, his awakening was not in terms of the three characteristics. He never mentions the three characteristics in his descriptions of his awakening. It all has to do with the Four Noble Truths. And the Four Noble Truths are about cause and effect, your actions. Some of your actions lead to suffering, some of your actions lead to the end of suffering. And you have to learn how to see the difference. Stop doing the ones that lead to suffering. Master the ones that lead to the end of suffering. So it starts with a simple discipline like this. Stay with the breath. Don't wander off. And be wise enough to learn how to want to stay with the breath. Learn how to make the breath an interesting topic, a pleasant topic to be with. That's where you get to exercise your discernment in a way that really does make a difference in the mind. <laughs>